Welcome again to Object Oriented Programming. This is part 16. Hopefully you enjoyed that parachute example. Again, all of the answers are on the shared file that you see here on the screen. And now we're going to finalize our pressure cooker program. So we're going to cook with pressure. The final pressure cooker program that you see on the shared folder is about 200 lines. It's event driven and about half of the lines are comments and blank spaces. We use all that blank space because it's good practice. It makes it easy to read the code, especially a year or two after you haven't touched it. Because in real life, you're going to be working on several different projects at once and waiting for the customer to get back to you and all this good stuff. Control 4 in Eclipse automatically adds comments to the DEF blocks. The program that you see on the shared folder does not actually have any inputs. Why? Because we don't have any demo pressure cookers, do we? Turns out we don't need the demo pressure cookers because the logic will work with a GUI as buttons and we're going to do the GUIs um, pretty soon. So let's just go with the main cooker buttons class. Let's see what's going on here. Notice that it has placeholder methods. This ensures that all the children will have those methods so that any pressure cooker can access the methods even if they don't do anything. This makes sure this makes every object the same. The GUI is going to perform the inputs and the display just like it would on the real pressure cooker. This goes with the model view controller structure. The controller program that we wrote will work no matter what the view is. In production, the graphical user interface will be replaced with physical buttons and a display. They will become the view. But when you're testing your machine and your code, you're going to do it probably on a computer without the pressure cooker being nearby. Note the simplicity of each method. Most of them are less than five lines. It's easy to debug because they only do one thing and they do that one thing well, hopefully. That's part of the single responsibility principle. The specifics to the machine, they're in the ABC Cookers subclass, and this is the separation of concerns principle. The departments that make those decisions could, you know, they could specify another model of cooker instead of ABC Cookers, maybe it's CDE Cookers. The only thing that we need to add to add or subtract buttons or cycles or whatever would be a new subclass. The buttons are already defined unless they come up with some new fancy button. The display is defined, etc. And that's the separation of concerns principle. Okay, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.